welcome back to another video if you are new here please hit the last double crochet and this is what i have so far so this is the first exact row for the ribbon so what i'm going to do is to chain up one turn over my work and as you can see i hope you can see this clearly i'm trying to view over there so that you see clearly we have two loops here so this is the front loop and this is the back loop so we are not going to go to the front loop you are going to target your back loop and make a single crochet stitch in the very first back loop so that's what you are going to do for this we are going to target the back loop so this is the next back loop if you can see that clearly and then you are going to make a single crochet stitch so just target your back loops and make your single crochet stitches smoothly for this whole row so i hope you can see it clearly so i'm making my single crochet um so i get to the end of the whole um, 
for the row sorry so this is my very last single crochet and normally it's tied there but you have to force your hook through so this is a i'm done with the second row and what you're going to do is that you're going to repeat the second row all over to the end of um the whole project or the whole stitch you are making so what i'm doing is that i'm making a long strap enough to cover my waist and most people i've been seeing questions that should you stretch it before you know that it fits i can say yes you can stretch it so that you know that it fits or but don't stretch it too much or else like it will become extremely small you see so yes just stretch as you are working your your row you can measure as you are working your stitches you can measure your waist and then you apply this here so as you are working your rows you you be just stretching and then fitting it on your waist to see whether it fits so i'm going to do a couple of rows and see how long um it's going to fit me so i'm just going to repeat row two as i said the back loops only and I'll show you how many rows I did for mine. So that if um, your waist is equi um, equivalent to mine, you know exactly what to do. But for bigger sizes and all, just measure your waist and just go with it. So I'll meet you after I'm done with my ribbons, my, my full set of ribbons. And then we'll work, um, we'll work with the skirt pattern so after repeating um my rows a couple of rows of um, single crochets in the back loop this is um the actual length i got so i stretched it and then fits my waist to see that it actually fits for my size so the next procedure is to join this elastic band stitch or waistband for the skirt and then apply your single crochet downwards to build up the skirt so this is where i ended actually and what i'm going to do now is to single crochet to join to the other side so i just went straight into this space and then I slip stitch for the first one. And then I just go back and single crochet to secure more. So you're actually going to single crochet all the way to the end. So make sure you are right.
a bigger size and um that's the same technique i applied but this time i used um double crochets for this um skirt so if i turn the side you can see that the shape is coming out it's, it's coming out well it doesn't become very bunched up as some skirts look if you increase so much it gets bunched up so i'm just going to apply the technique for this but this time i'm using the single crochet stitches so i might apply um several rows as compared to the double crochet stitches so i'm just going to work my rows of single crochet and i'm going to do a little demonstration for you all. and so yes i'm done chaining one i'm going to go into the very first piece with a single crochet stitch so i'm going to single crochet all the way down just normal single crochet stitches and I just love this single crochet technique because it makes your work look neat and all. And you don't have to worry that it will take a long time because um, we are actually using a bigger hook size. So it's not really, really, really time consuming as compared to using a small hook size and, and a small yarn. So just single crochet smoothly. And make sure you go under the two loops, not the back loop or front loop. So just apply your single crochet stitches smoothly. Along the edges. So I'm going to repeat this and I'll tell you how to slip stitch to join for the middle aspect. I've actually completed almost done with my second row and this is a very last double crochet so after that I'm going to slip stitch as usual into the very first single crochet and then I'm done with the second row so I'm going to repeat a couple of rows and um, it might differ for everyone so um, I'm going to repeat several um, regular rows as I told you um, from later on so i'm going to show you the exact rules i did after repeating um, several rows of single crochet and then i'll show you the rules i increased as well so i'm going to give you all this information so i'm done with my 13 rows of single crochet and each row consists a total of 106 stitches so i did 106 um single crochets for each row and i maintained this 106 stitches and i made sure i slip stitch to join so this is what i have so far and then um, i'm going to teach you how i increase bit by bit put it in mind that when you are increasing you shouldn't um, target to make a ruffle so your main objective is to increase little by little so that you at least get some little curve or a little um wideness for the skirt so that it doesn't maintain this actually so what i'm going to do for my skirt is that i'm going to um increase every 18th row for this particular row so i'm going to increase every 18th row so you can mark every 18th row on this particular row or you can just count in your head to number 18 and then you increase so i'm going to do that I'm, I'm not going to bother to stitch mark it i'm just going to show you how i increase in every 18th stitch sorry not 18 row. so i'm going to increase in every 18th stitch so as usual i chain one and then i single crochet in the very first space so this is one and then two and then three and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 17 so the next is the 18 row, and the next piece instead of putting one regular single crochet in that particular stitch what you are going to do is that you are going to go in with two single 
crochet so this is the first one and in the same space another one so this is how to increase every 18th row so i'm going to continue till i get to the 18th row and then when i get to the sorry the 18th stitch when i get to the 18th stitch i'm going to put a total of two single crochets as i demonstrated to you right now so let me give you a demonstration again one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and this is where you are going to put your two single crochet stitches. So here, one and then two. So we are going to repeat this for this particular row. As I told you, when you get to the 18th um, space or the 18th stage, you are going to put two single crochets there till you get to the end of the row. So I'm going to do that till I get to the end of the row and then I slip stitch to join and I'll show you what to do for next row. So I'm done with the 14th row and I this was this was the exact place I placed my two single crochets and after that I placed a total of seven single crochets and as I told you are going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet stitch just like that and then you slip stitch so 14 and you are now going to create a regular row of single crochet stitches for row 15 so as I told you, you don't want your increasing to be obvious. You are just um, increasing little by little. But there are particular rules in the stitches that the increasing will be um, regular. So I'm going to repeat a whole row of single crochets without any increase for rows 15. And I'll let you know what to do next. So guys, I'm done with, um, as promised, I'm done with my 15th row and the 16th row is going to be um, the same increase in every, in the 18th stitch. So I'm going to chain one and single crochet in the very first space as usual. So this is one and I'm going to add 17 more till I get to the 18th stitch as I showed you from um row 14 so i'm going to increase for row 16 but it doesn't really matter for other sizes um since i'm doing a size small to medium wherever you find yourself when it comes to making the skirt maybe um, um for a size large obviously you should do more than 13 um, regular rows you can do about 18 rows and then you increase for the 19th make a regular for the 20th increase for the 20th so it's kind of interchangeably for a couple of six um, consecutive rows so since i'm increasing for the 16th row i'm going to maintain a normal row for the 17th so i just i just don't want to rush you since some beginners won't understand some absolute beginners won't understand so i want to rush uh, i want to go in step by step so as i told you you are going to repeat your single crochet and increase in the 18th row as usual and then every 18th stitch sorry as usual and when you are done you slip stitch so that makes row 16 so do this for row 16 the same thing you did for row 14 just do the same for row 16 by increasing in the 18th stitch and i'll meet you at yes, the we end are finally at the end of the 16th row as i promised i increased every 18th um, stitch and I hope you did same if you are following this same procedure and as I explain later it's a simple technique that can be adjusted so the next row which is the 17th row I'm going to do normal or regular single crochets for this whole row without any increase 
so i'm just going to single crochet along normally and i'll tell you what to do um on the 18th row or the next row if precisely you're not using the same size so just single crochet along and i'll meet you ladies and gentlemen if you are done with your seven um your row 17 or whichever row you chose to remain without increasing so we are done with row 17 which i didn't increase as i said i just went on with a regular row so what i'm going to do now is to increase for the last time so row 18 is the last row of increase for mine so after i increase for row 18 i'm going to maintain regular rows so I get to a particular rule where I'm going to show you what to do. So right now, I'm going to chain one. And this time, I'm not going to increase on the 18th stitch. I'm going to increase in every 10th stitch. So as I chain one, I'm, I'll go inside there with the first single crochet. And I'm going to single crochet all the way down. So this is two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine and there's a ten to where i'm going to put single crochet in the same space so one and then two maintain your regular ten rows so two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten this is where you're going to put your two single crochets so i'm going to increase on every thing stitch with this um last row of increase and then you're going to maintain regular rows without increasing for a couple more of rows i don't know how many i'm going to do it depends on how much coverage you want but i'll finish with my increase for row 18 and then i'll tell you guys to just continue for how many rows you want for the coverage till you get to let's say your tie a um and then i'll just do my regular row So I'm going to continue with my 19th row and however row I want for my coverage, however many rows I want for my coverage. This time no increase, just feel free, relax and place your single crochet stitches all the way down. You can take your skirt or any um, type of skirt, anybody can skirt to know exactly how much coverage you want but i'll tell you the exact number of rows i did for mine so just relax and chill get some cup of drink <laughs> and continue with your rules so i'll meet you when you are done with however rules you did you do for yours so guys i did a total of five um rows after the 19th row and as you can see it's spreading like this but i want to maintain the curvy nature so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to decrease little by little row and what i'm going to do is to chain one single crochet into the very first piece as usual and then work your single crochets just like this so what I'm going to do here is to decrease every 15th stitch so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you place your 15 stitch. However, you are going to skip the next stitch, which is the 16th stitch or the 16th space. And after doing that, 
you are going to just go ahead into the 17th piece and single crochet. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So after the 15th um, stitch, what you are going to do is to skip this and then move to the next. So that is the technique you are going to use for this row. After completing your single crochets of 15 um, stitches, you are going to skip the 16th and single crochet into the 17th. And you are going to continue this decreasing for a couple of two more rows. And then you are going to, I'm going to show you what to do next after doing this for two more rows. So guys, I did my total of two rows of decrease as I showed you. Um, you can now go ahead and continue with your regular row of single crochets for as long as you want. So I'm going to continue my rows of single crochets. One thing about a single crochet stitch is that it really brings out a neat finishing for your work. So I just love. So guys, it. I repeated um a regular rows um of single crochets all the way down, and what I did afterwards is that for the last two rows of single crochet, I did my normal decrease in every ten stitch. You can decide not to it's optional and it won't be very obvious so you can see that when i placed my skirt on the dummy you realize that it fits perfectly there's no bunched up and everything everything fits perfectly so this is what i was trying to achieve and i have not woven in my yarns yet because i'll be working on my ruffles um, for this set so i realized i was out of yarns you can see that the shades of yellow are different pardon me for that but i just realized that the shades of yellow were different and i thought they were like but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my gold shade of yellow and i'm going to work my ruffles there are several ways of working your ruffles but today i'll be working it in three sections i'll be working it at the very edge and then i'll work it about five rows into after the edge and then I'll go five rows up so it will be three ruffles on the skirt and then yes I think this is okay you can maintain it like this and wear or you can join me to make the ruffles so if you want to make the ruffles just grab your hook and yarn and let's get right into making the That's ruffles and ended with this yellow shade so I'll be using um, this particular yellow shade it's kind of the gold look for my ruffles and most at times if you make a matching um top for it in this particular gold and then you get the ruffles it really looks nice you can also make some additions for your skirt it's, it's optional so what i'm going to do is to make a slip knot and chain one So I just pull this tail and I'm going to attach to where I ended my row for the skirt. So I'm just going to attach with a single crochet. And note that my ruffles um, are going to be made of single crochet stitches. So I'm going to make single crochet stitches for my ruffles. And what I'm going to do is that for this particular row, I'm going to put two single crochets in this same exact space so i've done my first one and i'm going to put another single crochet in that same exact space so after doing that the next um the next stitch will be a regular single crochet in the same in that same exact hole so just place your regular single crochet 
just like that. And the next space is going to be two single crochets in the same space. So one, and then two. The next row is going to be a regular single crochet, so one. And the next is going to be two single crochets in the same space, so one, and then what, two. So guys, I hope you are getting it. We are trying to create this ruffle effects through increasing for every second um, space. So when you get to the next space, you put your regular and the following space will be the two single crochets in the same exact space. And what you realize is that as I'm going, I'm weaving in, I'm hiding in the excess yarn from the previous row. So you can use this technique as well. So when you repeat this till the end of the row, you slip stitch to join to this exact particular um, stitch. And then you chain one to begin the next row. So repeat this by one single crochet in one the next space, two single crochet in the same space. You do this repetitively till you get to the end. And I'll show you what to do for the second row of the raffles. So guys, um, I'm done with my row one and I ended with one single crochet. So I ended with one single crochet, but if you end up ending with two single crochet, don't worry, it just depends on everyone. But I ended up with one single crochet and my following one was two. So I'm going to slip stitch into this particular stitch, the first single crochet made. I just create a simple slip stitch and then I'm done with my um, first row. You can already see that it's beginning to ruffle. So the next row, I'm going to um, make sure I increase um, in all the spaces. So this time I'm doing a heavy increase, if that's what you want to call it. So I'm going to chain one single crochet in the very first piece. And then place a single crochet there too, in that same space. I'm going to do that in the next space as well. One. And then two. I'm going to do that in the space after. So I'm going to put two single crochets in every space. So I get to the other side. So guys, um, this is how my second row turned out, and I hope you have seen. So you can see that the ravel, the ravel is beginning to form nicely, and this is um, the last row of increase. So the rest of the rows that I'm going to do for this ravel are regular rows with no increase or no decrease. So I'm just going to do regular rows of single crochet along the edges. So as long as I want, um, you can make it as long as you want and have it in mind that ruffles really take a lot of yarns, but it, it comes out cute. So, um, as I said, you can make the ruffles in three sections and, um, for the first, um, what I was thinking was that I'll come up here around somewhere here and then make the ruffles here too. And then I'll come a little up and make, or I can just maintain two, uh, or like I can just maintain this one. So it just depends on what you want. But I just hope my yarn is enough for me to do cute ruffles for you. So just grab your um, drink or watch a movie whilst doing this because it's going to take a long time, but I'll come out cute. So what I'm going to do now. This is the last um, two single crochets I made, so I'm going to slip it to join the very first one, just like that. And I'm going to begin my next row. As I said, my next row is going to be regular rows. So I'm going to chain up one single crochet in the very first space. Because the chain one does not count as a single crochet. So I'm going to move to the next and then single crochet 
and then move to the following so just locate the next and then you just put a single crochet in as seen so i'm going to do this nicely and it will still ruffle except that you are making the length come out a little bit for you to get a nice effect so um, i'll show you the number of rows um, i'm going to do for my ruffles and then i'll show you how to do in case there's some yarn left i'll show you how to do the second one over here, somewhere here i'll show you how to um, attach and then we will be almost done with my skirt so just do this single crochet row and i'll meet you so guys um after repeating the regular rows as i showed you um for i repeated to about six more rows for me to get this ruffle right so i have my ruffles done and you can maintain it like this with a skirt it's perfect i just love it you can just maintain without any ruffles at all because there's no anyone who is a fan of ruffles so i'm actually thinking of doing two layers of ruffles so what i'm going to do now is to since i'm done with this section of ruffles as i told you i just did regular um, rows of single crochet and there was no need for me to like repeat myself over and over again so i'm just going to cut off the excess yarns and i'm going to weave the rest in later so you don't need to you can just use your hook to weave in you don't need any special darning needle or anything i just use my hook to weave in but i'm going to show you how to make the second layer which is going to be up a little so i'm going to count one two three four five six seven eight i think i'll do it at my eighth place so i'm actually going to connect it somewhere here it doesn't matter where you connect i'm actually going to connect it like almost the middle or something and then i'm going to attach my yarn so you just insert your hook like how i've just done and then you are going to concentrate on i'm taking the rest of the yarns that you have available ruffles is all about yarn it takes a lot of yarns away so just make sure your your yarn is ready and all to make this ruffle so what you're going to do now as usual um i'll just pull through with the other yarn with the yarn i want to attach so pull through gently and then when you have the hook like this you just yarn over and pull through to secure so yes so now i'm going to like turn my work i don't know but um, i want to turn my work and then show you how to work the single crochet along the place where i've just um, attached so what i'm going to do now i want to get started so i'm going to chain one and then single crochet in that same exact space I'm going to single crochet once again in the next piece and this time I'm going to put two single crochets in, in the next piece so I'm basically doing the same particular row I've been talking about all this while you see for this particular raffle the first row was single crochet a uh, normal single crochet the next was two single crochets in the same space I'm repeating the same exact pattern along through the um, where I attached so this particular line so I've just folded to get a firm view a firm um, grip so that I can like work the single crochets nicely so you realize that I just placed one single crochet here the next one was two single crochet so automatically you know the next one will just be one single crochet sorry so one single crochet it's kind of slippery here so one single crochet and then the next one is going to be two single crochets as usual so one and then two the next one will be a single crochet the next one will be two single crochets in the same space so i just want to repeat a little bit make sure you are grip like how i'm doing make sure you are folded it like this so that you can like work the ruffles nicely so the next one is a single crochet the next one is two single crochet in the same 
exact space. The next one is just a single crochet. The next one is two single crochets in the same exact space. The next one is just a single crochet. The next one is two single crochets in the exact same space. And I don't want this to be repetitive, but what you are going to do is that I'm going to create this same exact thing on this section, like kind of like a layer section type. So that it comes and covers to some section and then your ruffle looks perfect or you can just maintain this if you are not a fan of ruffles or you can just do your skirt plain it just depends on what exactly you want so i'm going to repeat this particular rule do the same exact thing for this rule the next rule obviously will be two increases so you are going to single crochet two times in the same exact space do you understand like how we did for this one and then after row two the following row will be your regular single crochet so how long you want and i did my own a total like a total of eight single crochets but you can go as long as you want to get nice effects for your skirt so yes i'm going to continue with my stitches and i'll meet you at the end of the raffles